During his life, Raphael did touch the life of many people. On Good Friday, 6 April of 1520, Raphael died of a sudden fever. This came as a universal, shocking, triggered an outpouring of grief from those whose lives he had touched. Artists, patrons, humanists, even the Pope. Raphael became the exemplary artist taught as the paradigm of high art in academies across all Europe. This video is primarily dedicated to his portraiture. The portraits he did execute tend to have been painted out of friendship or affection. This painting of Lorenzo de Medici, Duke of Urbino, this imposing portrait was painted by Raphael as part of the extensive diplomacy between the Medici Pope Leo X and his family and the French royal household in the later 1510. Leo's nephew, Lorenzo de' Medici, Duca di Urbino, had been looking to marry into a French royal family. And in the autumn of 1517, a marriage was negotiated with Madeleine de la Tour de Auvergne. Lorenzo left Rome for Florence on 20 January 1518, and the sitting for this portrait must have been completed before that. Raphael's friend, the papal debtor Baldassare Turin de Pescia, wrote to Lorenzo's secretary to inform him that the portrait was very beautiful but still needed to be varnished and that Raphael was waiting for a sunny day so it would dry properly. Later, this portrait was sent to Florence in time to be seen there by Lorenzo. The portrait was after sent to Madeleine de la Tour in Lyon as an engagement gift. Lorenzo followed in person and the couple were married on 13 June. The picture was painted on canvas for easy of transport, but Raphael also exploited the potential of the support. Lorenzo's drapery is a virtuous display that moves beyond surface pyrotechnics to define depth. For example, the extraordinary fur trim of his winter coat around his neck and escaping in tufts from the sleeves. The highlights weave in and out as Raphael paints with supreme mastery of his medium. This picture returned to Italy with the married couple in the late summer of 1518. This picture used to be called as a state portrait, which aptly describes its imposing nature and political purpose, even if it was in fact a private gift to Lorenzo's intended bride. This intimate purpose probably explains the nature of Lorenzo's interaction with the viewer, Madeleine, and it has been proposed that the box that he holds in his right hand contains an engagement ring or perhaps a portrait miniature of his bride-to-be. A portrait of Madeleine was commissioned in France at the same time, but unfortunately it was lost. Near contemporary inventories refer to this picture as showing Lorenzo dressed à la Française in the French style, 
The painting is not of uniform quality and some areas are abraded. Nevertheless, the tactile handling of the fur and the wonderfully rendered pink silk woven with gold are far beyond the competence of Raphael's workshop assistants. The face is the weakest and most damaged part of the painting, but the hand emerging from the luxurious sleeve is strong and highly finished and can be compared with those in the portrait of Pope Julius II. Such observations may help to silence doubts about the picture's status which can be related to the speed of its execution. Its condition and relative formality of a portrait of this type, so different from portraits of friends such as Baldassare Castiglioni. To know more about Raphael's paintings, please refer to this video here, or for art conservation videos, please check other videos in the channel. Thanks for watching and I meet you on the next video.